protesta under this lecture we are going to discuss the basic characteristics that kingdom protesta possess few classifications under kingdom protesta and their basic characteristics we will also go through few diagrams of few examples let's start with the first part that is the basic characteristics under kingdom protesta so protesta are all are single cell eukaryotes also cell wall is present in them next is habitat is aquatic they are found in aquatic habitats next is mode of reproduction mode of reproduction is both sexual as well as asexual there are two processes taking place first one is cell fusion and the second one is zygote formation so two processes are there in the reproduction cycle then comes two terminologies phytoplankton and zooplankton what are these phytoplankton are photosynthetic floating parasites while zooplankton are free flowing free floating holozoic protozoans now moving on to the classification under the kingdom protista it's chrysophytes let's have a look at the characteristics of chrysophytes chrysophytes are diatoms and 
because in pre medical examinations many questions are based on diagrams so what they will do they will give you a diagram and give you an arrow and will ask maybe they will ask you what is this part of this you will know an example can be like this next is it's having stigma stigma is a orange red eye spot type of structure they are having paraplegical body paraplegical body is a swelling it's a type of swelling where both the flagella are joined together next is these are paraplegical bodies inside these and pellicular striations are there slime bodies slime bodies are saprophytic parasites under slime bodies comes a term plasmodium plasmodium is what under suitable conditions these slime bodies form an aggregation this aggregation is known as plasmodium and this can spread over feet next one is there are two types of slime molds one is acellular and one is cellular under slime molds we are having an example physarum physarum is a cellular slime mold next is protozoans under type of protozoa we are having protozoans protozoans are unicellular or acellular eukaryotes there are four types of protozoans amoeboid protozoan flagellated protozoan ciliated protozoan and saprozoans other protozoans comes in example paramecium paramecium is ciliated protozoan paramecium we will see in the diagram it's like shoe sole it's having two ends one is the anterior end and one is the posterior end there are two contractile vacuoles present in a paramecium at the anterior end it is known as anterior contractile vacuole at the posterior end it is known as posterior contractile vacuole four vacuoles are there you can see these are four vacuoles another thing is there it's having two nucleus two nucleus are there one is the micronucleus and one is the macro nucleus okay two nucleus are here it's not having any flagellum next is there is a cyte that cytosome cytoplasm at this point new food vacuoles are forming you can see new food vacuole has formed and it's then distributed in the endoplasm Next is it's having pellicle. It's also having pellicle. Cellulose is not there in case of paramecium as well. So this is the diagram of paramecium. Under this we have seen all the parts of paramecium. This was all about this lecture. Under this lecture we have discussed about the basic characteristics of kingdom protista. few classifications under kingdom protista and their salient features we have also seen few diagrams few examples under kingdom protista and the parts of the examples like paramecium we have seen the diagram of paramecium and its parts and we have seen euglena this was all about this lecture thanks for watching